What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here, and I'm sure most of you have already heard of Anthropic's new computer use feature. In fact, we actually did a video on it yesterday showing you how you can set it up. Very, very simple in a Docker container. And I'm sure lots of you have seen this in action either on my channel or on Twitter or wherever, where people are using this Claude computer use demo that Anthropic provided that is using a virtual environment right here using no VNC and a chat interface on the left to control browsers or control the computer and do different actions. And this is good for testing and it definitely has some pros such as being more safe, but it definitely has a few downsides such as being really slow and really not a practical application of this new feature. So of course we could go ahead and start implementing the code here and build something ourselves, but what if there was a way where we could easily set up a nice pre-built user interface that would actually do these actions for us on our own computer. Well, that's where agent.exe comes in. The easiest way to let Claude's new computer use capabilities take over your computer. It's free, it's open source, and I'm going to show you how you can set it up in today's video, as well as I'm going to give you access to my forked version of it with a couple new enhanced features. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so I was on Twitter today and I saw this gentleman here, Kyle Corbett, tweet out just launched agent.exe, a free open source Mac, Linux, Windows app that lets you use Claude 3.5 Sonnet to control your computer. This was a fun little project to explore the API and see what the mono can do. Computer use is really cool. I expect 2025 will be the year of agents. And yes, I can definitely agree with that prediction. So here's what the user interface looks like here. It's a little chat window. And you can see here it has an input box right here where we can give it our prompt. It has a delete button. It has a let's go button. And we have kind of the history interface right here. Here's an example of it in action. So you can see here it's running right now. And you can see that it's finding flights for Seattle for next Tuesday or to Wednesday. And you can see there's a pause button here. And yeah, it's putting San Francisco here. We're not going to watch the whole thing because I'm about to demo it for you in just a second but you get the gist, okay? So you can go ahead, you have really two options. So you have two options. You can use the original version right here, which is really good. But I personally found there was a couple little features that I wanted it to have, such as the ability to, when I pause the chat, to be able to reprompt the chat with a new prompt or a new message in the chat without it starting a complete new chat. As well as I personally found for me running it on a Windows using my specific browser, I had a few issues with the clicking, you know, it not being able to click in the exact place it was supposed to so you could try his version if you are running into any of those issues then you can try my forked version of it okay so both the repos will be linked down below in the description and all you're simply going to do is you're actually just going to copy the repo right here the url you're going to come into your terminal and you're going to run git clone and then the repo url once you do that you're going to change directory into agent.exe okay from that point on you can run npm install Okay, so that's going to install it right here. And then you're going to want to run code dot or cursor dot. You're basically going to want to open this in VS Code or cursor. Okay, once you have it opened in your editor of choice, you're going to see that there's a dot env example file. You're just going to want to clone that and change it to dot env. And then you're going to want to paste in your Anthropic API key. All right, if you scroll down in the repo too, you'll see those exact instructions here. Of course, if you're using my forked version, you would just change out this URL right here. And then all you're going to do is run npm start. So we're going to run this right here. Okay, and here we have our agent.exe. Now you will notice that the forked version right here has a, really it's just has one different button right here. So it has a send button and a new button. So a new button is going to create a new chat and the send button is going to keep the messages within the same chat. All right, and this is still obviously a very new tool as well as computer use is obviously a very new tool. So there may be some issues, maybe some bugs, as well as the fork version I made. It's definitely not perfect by any means. I just wanted to add some additional little features here just for my personal use and maybe some of you guys will enjoy that too are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep 
Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Now you can use this on any browser, but Kyle says that Claude really likes Firefox. So we'll just go ahead and run it on Firefox. Even though Zen browser, the one I was using is based off of Firefox. All right. So I'm going to say search Josh Pocock on YouTube. Tell me how many subscribers he has and the names of his last three videos and their views. So let's go ahead and send this. All right. So it says I can see Firefox is open. Let me click on the YouTube icon and search for Josh Pocock. Okay. So it's loading up YouTube. Okay, so it pulled up my channel here. Okay, so it made a mistake and I just told it that wasn't the, la the name of the last two. And as you can see, it's continued on with the same conversation and remained context within this whole thread. So as we can see here, it says, I can see Josh Pocock has 9.39K subscribers according to the channel page. And then we can see the last three videos is one new Claude AI agent computer use, which is correct. And then it gave me two different wrong names right here. So I let it know that that wasn't the name of the last two. And it said, my apologies. Let me scroll back up and get the correct video. And then it said, Claude AI agent computer use. And it said, free FI data AI agent, which is true one day ago. And then building a custom AI agent memory tool with Python. Okay, so this is incorrect. So I got two of them. The last one is incorrect. I could tell it to get the last one correct, but... Uh, we'll just try a different prompt here. All right, so now we're going to try get me the current time and weather in Sweden, just any place there. And I'm going to click on new so we can create a new thread. Okay, so it's picking Stockholm, Sweden, and it's going to get us the time here. All right, searching for weather Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, and boom. So current time in Sweden, Stockholm is 8 a.m. Current weather, sunny temperature, 10 degrees Celsius, wind, etc., etc., etc. So did that correctly very easily. All right, so I'm gonna say open a new tab, go to Google Sheets and enter some dummy data with formulas around this month's PNL. Okay, so it's just going to sheetsgoogle.com. Okay, so it had some trouble opening up a new tab there. Okay, so it just, it's messing up right now. I'm actually gonna pause it. I'm just gonna say you didn't create a new spreadsheet, send it. Okay, I just had to restock up on some credits because one thing about computer use is it blows through credits quick. So keep that in mind. We're going to just send this. Okay, so at least now it's creating a new blank spreadsheet. Okay, we got the spreadsheet here. Let's see if it can actually input some data. When you're doing it, make sure that you click on your uh, browser so that when it presses a key like Control T for a new tab or enter and that it actually works. Um, so I'm just, it wasn't working for me. So I'm just going to say, sorry, restart the PNL and send it. Okay. So I'm saying restart the PNL. Make sure you click to the next tab and don't type things in the same tab. Take screenshots after each so you can make sure you're doing it correctly. I'm going to hit send. Okay. So it is doing some data entry here. So I was having some issues before with the tab uh, button not working. So I actually had to go back in and fix it in the code. But we can see here that it is working now. The one thing is the revenue, the capital um, and lowercase is kind of messed up just because I had caps on and then it typed like that. So, okay. So it is still kind of messing up a little bit. It's not perfect there. Okay, so it's not perfect. As you can see, I'm just going to stop it right there, you know, but it was going to keep going. Um, and like I said before, guys, I said this in the last video, I'll say it in this video. Obviously, Claude computer use isn't perfect. Obviously, this agent.exe isn't perfect, but I think this is a really cool tool for at least being able to easily try it out on your own computer. You can go ahead, use this for free. It's open source. And at least you won't have to deal with the slowness of using it in that virtual environment, the one that Claude provides as a demo. So other than that, guys, I don't want to make this video too, too long. I did more tests in yesterday's video. This obviously is the same tool, so it's going to have similar success with certain tasks. But now we have it in a nice little UI interface, which is directly on our personal computer. So you can go ahead, use this, try it out for different tasks, see how it works. And let me know in the comments down below what you think.
like I said, I'll leave the link to the original repo down below. I'll also leave the link to my fork. And like I said, my fork isn't perfect. I just made a few slight adjustments just to get a few things that I personally wanted. So you can use whatever one you want or maybe test out both. Other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, marketing, sales, business growth. If you're new to the channel and you like that type of content, make sure to leave a comment down below, smash the like button, and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below to our free Facebook group and Discord channel. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.